Today we're going to demonstrate how you can open and use the forms that are available in the DABR Form Center using nothing but your iPad. So to begin, we need to open up Safari. And you'll see that I've already typed in DABR.com and I've logged in. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see on the blue bar that stretches from the left to the right of the screen a number of categories. And we want to select the Forms category. When we do, you'll see a drop-down list uh, with some sub-menu items. Now, in this case, we're going to look for the Contract to Purchase Real Estate form. So I'm going to go to the Listing and Purchase Forms section. So I'll press that area, and the new page will open up. And I'll scroll down until I find the Contract to Purchase Real Estate. There are two ways you can open up this form. You can either press on the words Contract to Purchase Real Estate, or you can simply press the download button and that's what we'll do. Now that we've opened up the contract to purchase real estate PDF you'll see that there's a problem. The interactive fields are not being displayed. The PDF viewer that is built into the web browser is a very basic viewer and it does not detect those interactive fields. So what we need to do is we need to open this form in another application. Now there are many options, both free and paid, in the App Store for viewing PDFs. The app we're going to use is called PDF Expert, so that's what we'll use to open the contract. From this screen, tap anywhere in the contract and you'll see a dark gray bar appear for a moment at the top of the PDF that gives you options to open the file in other apps. It offers Open in PDF Expert or Open in. We'll select the Open In just to show you that it recognizes many other installed apps that will read PDFs. We'll select PDF Expert and you'll see that it opens up the app and loads the contract. Furthermore, you'll see now that the interactive fields are recognized so we can begin to fill out the contract. Simply tap in the first field and begin filling it out. So we'll select that first field and we'll enter the date And once we do that, we can then either tap in the next field or simply touch the next button uh, here in the keyboard section, uh, continuing to do so until the contract is complete. So I'll hit the next button, and you see it moves on to the next field that you can complete, and so on, and so on. One of the great things about this particular app is that it allows you to strike out sections, add annotations, and lets clients actually sign the contract. So let's do that. I'll just move on to the bottom of the second page where the signature areas are. Now, in order to add a signature, touch and hold in a blank area of the contract, just like that, and you'll see some options appear. Select Signatures, and then Customer Signature. And then hand the iPad to your client to sign with their finger or a stylus. I have found that a stylus works best. So there is a signature. When you're completed with it, just touch Done, and the signature shows up on the contract. Then you can touch and hold to drag the signature in place, and use the red handles to scale the signature larger or smaller to fit the space. Tap Done when you're completed. And that's it. You have a signed contract. You can now save a copy of this contract on your iPad or you can email it to another party for review and signing. To do that, at the top right of the screen, touch the square with the arrow coming out of it. And then select Send by Email. Now, if you're sending this to another party, it is important to select the flattened copy option, as this will prevent anyone from changing your notes or removing the signatures. It's just a better level of security, so I would recommend this option. Fill out the details of the email, and then click Send. And now you've downloaded, viewed, and completed a contract all on your iPad. Thanks for watching.